Hey, what's up? In this problem, we have to find the points uh, on the graph of these parametric equations where we have horizontal and vertical tangent lines. Solution. So we're going to have vertical tangent lines when the following happens. Well, if you think about uh, a vertical line, a vertical line has an undefined slope. So this is going to happen when the rate of change of x with respect to t is 0. So dx dt is 0, but dy dt is not. Okay, so basically the rate of change of x will be 0, but dy dt won't be. If you look at dy dx, the formula, you have dy dt over dx dt. So if you think of it this way, it might make a little more sense. You see, dx dt being 0 would make dy dx be undefined, right? Because you would have 0 on the bottom. And that's how you get a vertical line, right? Vertical lines have undefined slopes. So let's see if this can happen. Well, if we compute dx dt in this problem, uh, dx dt in this case is going to be equal to, well, just negative 1. And this is never 0, right? This is not equal to 0. So there are no vertical tangent lines. So no vertical tan lines. So to find vertical tangent lines, you take dx dt and you set it equal to 0, and you just make sure this one's not 0. We didn't even have to consider this one, the second one, because dx dt was not 0. Let's look for horizontal tangent lines. So for horizontal tangent lines, it's different, right? Horizontal lines have a slope of 0. So if you look at the formula for dy dx, you would want the top part to be 0. So in this case, you want dy dt to be 0, but dx dt to not be 0. That's the condition for um, horizontal tangent lines. So dy dt equals 0, but dx dt is not 0. So in this case, dy dt, dy dt is negative 2t. If we set that equal to 0, we simply get t equals 0. And dx dt, we just have to make sure it's okay. We already worked it out. We got negative 1, so that's not equal to 0. So this is good. We got it, right? So this condition is satisfied, right? We have dy dt equals 0, and dx dt is not equal to 0. So that means that we have a horizontal tangent line at t equals 0. Now, the question wants the point. So all you do now is you take the 0 and you plug it back into your x and y. So when t equals 0, we get x equals 9 minus 0. So x equals 9. And y equals negative 0 squared, so y equals 0. So we have a horizontal tangent line at the point 9, comma, 0. So quick recap. When you're looking for vertical tangent lines, take dx dt, set it equal to 0, solve, and just make sure this is satisfied. When you're looking for horizontal tangent lines, Take dy dt, set it equal to 0, but just make sure this is satisfied. That's it. I hope this was, hel this was helpful.